Hey, your friends here at the dash cam store here with a how to video. Today, we're going to talk about a simple way to edit your dash cam footage in Windows 10. We're going to go over how to remove audio, trim your clips, and how to combine multiple video clips into a single file. Begin by opening the start menu. You can search through your program files for the photos application or by typing photos in your search bar to narrow the search by name. After opening the application, navigate over to the right hand corner of photos and click on create. You'll then be presented with three options. Automatic video with music, which is an automated creation of your video and photo library contents, where you are given minimal control over your footage. Custom video with music, which gives users full creative control over their video, allowing you to edit the video from start to finish. An album, which allows you to gather and organize your videos and photos. Today, we will be proceeding with the custom video with music option, so we can remove the audio from our footage, trim our clip, and combine multiple videos into one. In this part, we're going to remove the audio from our video. Now just mouse over and navigate through your catalog of footage to find the video you want and then click on it. Selected videos will be indicated by the check mark in the top right hand corner of the video clip. Then scroll back up to the right hand corner of the application and click on create to begin editing your clip. Now go ahead and name your video and then we'll move on to the next step. In the left hand corner of the application, you'll see your added clip. To start editing, click and drag the clip down from your project library into the boxes below on the storyboard timeline. Now we can remove the audio from your video. Click on the speaker located in the bottom right corner of your clip. This will bring up your video's volume options. Simply click the audio box again and it will become muted or you can drag the volume to zero. In both cases, muted audio is indicated by an X on the speaker icon. Now we can adjust the music option on the top right side of the photos application. By default, all videos imported into photos will have music attached to it. Simply click on music and then select the option none. Now that audio has been removed from your clip, we can save your video. Mouse over to the top right hand corner of the application and click on the export or share button. You then will be prompted with three options, S, M, and L. The S option is stated to be the quickest upload and best for email and sharing on small screens. This option degrades your video's visual quality for quicker sharing speeds. The M option is stated to be best for sharing online, such as posting videos on social media sites. The L option is stated to have the longest upload time and is best for sharing on big screens. This option is focused on retaining your video's visual quality at the cost of upload time. You will have to decide which option best fits your needs. But today I'll proceed with the L option to retain the video's visual quality. Just a heads up, after you finish saving your clip through one of the three save options, photos by default will save the footage in your pictures folder. On this screen, you can view your clip in the photos application or click on view and file explorer to go to the root of where your file is saved. And there's also the option to share to social media, email, or another application. Now that your video's audio is removed and is saved, we can move on to the next part. In this part, we are going to go over how to trim your video clip. Once again, in the photos application, we'll click on create and select the custom video with music option. Now we can select a clip that we want to trim 
Remember that selected clips will be indicated by the check mark in the right hand corner of the clip. Once you've selected your clip, go ahead and click create and then name your video. Before we begin editing your video, we must drag the clip down into the boxes from your project library. Then mouse over to the trim button and click on it. To trim your video, move the markers inward or outward. Once you've adjusted the markers to your liking, mouse over to the right and click on done to finalize your trim. Now we can adjust the music option on the top right side of the photos application. By default, all videos imported into photos will have music attached to it. Simply click on music and then select the option none. Or if you want to have this music in your video, you can search through the catalog in the recommended tab of music, or you can import your very own in the your music tab. Click on select the music file in the your music tab to search your computer for your music files. Now that your video is adjusted, we can mouse over to the top right hand corner of the application and click on the export or share button. You then will be prompted with the options S, M, and L. Much like earlier, you have to select the option that best fits your needs. But today we will proceed with the L option to retain our video's visual quality. Also, don't forget by default, photos will save your footage in your pictures folder. After the video clip is finished saving, you can view your clip in the photos application or click on view and file explorer to go to the root of where your file is saved. And there's also the option to share to social media, email, or another application. Now that your video is trimmed and saved, we can move on to the final part. In this last part, we're going to go over how to combine multiple clips into a single file. Once again, in the photos application, click on create. Select the custom video with music option. Then select some clips you want combined with others to create a single video. Here, I'll be selecting two media files to begin with. Remember, clips that are selected are indicated by the check mark in the corner of the video. Then click on create to begin. Go ahead and name your video file, then click on OK to proceed. Now drag your individual files from the project library in the top left corner of the photos application into the boxes below. Then click the add photos and videos button at the top left hand corner to add more footage. You'll then be prompted with two options from my collection and from this PC. The from my collection option will be from the catalog we used earlier when we selected our initial clips in the photos application. The from this PC option will allow you to search through your entire computer for your media clips. Today we'll proceed with the from my collection option to add another video clip. Select the clip you want brought into photos, then mouse to the top right corner of the application, then click add when you're ready. Now drag the video into the boxes below to merge your new clip onto the storyboard with your other video clips. Now that all of our video clips are together on a single timeline, we can rearrange the order of the clips by clicking and dragging them in front of each other or moving them behind other clips. Now once again, we can adjust the music option on the top right side of the photos application. Simply click on music and then select none to remove music. Or if you want to have music in your video, you can search through photos catalog of music in the recommended tab of music. Or you can import your very own in the your music tab. To import your own music, click on select the music file in the your music tab to search your computer for your music files. 
Now that our videos are combined and adjusted to our liking, we can mouse over to the top right hand corner of the application and click on the export and share button. Once again, you will be prompted with the options S, M, and L. Much like earlier, you have to select the option that best fits your needs. Again, we'll continue with the L option to retain our video's visual quality. Don't forget, by default, photos will save your footage in your pictures folder. After the video clip is finished saving, we can view our video in the photos application or view in file explorer to go to the root of where your file is saved or share to social media, email, or another application. Today, we learned how to remove audio from our video, how to trim our footage, and how to combine multiple clips into a single video. Thanks for watching, and as always, drive safe. Now recording.